Welcome back here to 30 Days of Starcraft. It's day number eight. I'm still terrible, and I'm still getting there with you guys backing me up and uh, giving me all those pointers that I desperately need in order to may not make this the most horrific thing ever. I have been away for four days, lost my voice, got it back now. Today, I'm doing four VODs. Well, technically, I'm doing five, considering uh, earlier on I did do a VOD and... Finished it off, and only to fuck to realize that um, I had not hit the record button. Now, if you've ever heard the movie, uh, if you've ever seen the movie Snatch, there's a lot of there's a lot of swearing in that movie. Yeah, that movie was nothing compared to my uh, to my demeanor right after that moment. Dear God, was I pissed of that? Then again, that means I get to do 31 days technically. <laughs> Then again, the beta does end in two weeks, but whatever. And so we're getting on our way here in this game. It's Czech versus Maka here on Metalopolis. And they're spawning right in front of each other. It's uh, Zerg versus Terran again. It's the third time today I'm doing Zerg, Zerg versus Terran, one of, uh, one of which matches you will never be able to see, considering it did not get recorded, which was Czech versus... Um, First and snare actually, just to uh, just to put a spoiler in and snare one in the end with uh, which cheech, cheech tanks, which seems to be the standard fare these days with when it comes to uh, Terran versus Zerg. But we'll have to see whether or not that is the case in the future. But currently we have ooh early refinery, very very early refinery being built. That is quick. That is very 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 quick here from uh, from Maka. He's gonna go heavy heavy. Heavy, heavy gas. Very, very on. And pool now coming out on the other side. But marauders be. I'm. Is it Maka's going for marauders early on. There is a barracks. And he's trying to get those. I think he's going to go for marauders very, very quickly. And there is a. We, he is a right now. We do have to check moving up without um, building a pool. Early on. A Fifteen. Uh, Fifteen. Supply pool. So this command center is still building stuff. So finally, we have uh, the barracks almost up. And so a second hatchery is now coming out for uh, for check standard. Really, you you really really want to start expanding early when it comes to uh, when it comes to uh, this uh, when it comes to Zerg. Maka does know now about this uh, about the secondary hatchery as he does manage to have an SCV in the base and he knows exactly what check is up to. These drones are just going around. He's just <laughs> moving around the drones and uh, it's just making sure that nothing happens. Orbital Command and a reactor now being researched in a factory as well. So you have two links now. Making he needs to uh, keep those links in the base, or uh, he's going to for go to go for a little bit of harassment with those uh, with those zerglings uh, after this SCV. They will catch up towards his very very near in the very very near future. Second gas now coming up for uh, for Macau. Very, very heavily on, heavily on the gas, so it does look like he's going for uh, Helions. Who just needs to watch out for this, uh, for the Zergling. He's just switching it. Oh, nicely done. Nicely done, but this SCV is dead. It's uh, a reactor now added towards this uh, factory. A Helion being built, so the early harassment is a fact. The Marauders are not just being built just yet, because you do need that tech lab. Starport being built. Medivacs. Medivacs are going to be. Uh, Medivacs are going to be uh, part of this party. This queen. We'll need to put some uh, tumors down. In order to uh, stay competitive, uh, as more Helions are coming out, but the queen could, would be. Should be able to take down that. Uh, take down that. Uh, Helion quite easily. Has he gone for ignition? We will have early roaches already being researched by uh, by check. This is really what you want. And there you go. That, that queen's just sitting on the ramp, and the spine crawler over there is too much, and he's very very low. And that spine crawler, uh, if he can go down here, he may be able to do it. But a queen's still there. He may get in towards his, his drones, but he needs that. In, he needs the igniter to do uh, maximum damage. Some scouting going on here. Check knows what's up. And uh, we have a lair being researched now as well. And that Roach Warren is still affected. There we go. There are the Medivacs. Expect Medivacs dropping these... Uh, oh, that oh, that would do so much damage. The Medivac right here. 
right in towards the face of these uh, drones would be extremely painful. I can't, I can't, you can't even begin to imagine how painful that is. There we go. Medivacs are here. There we go. Two more would be enough. It's not going to go any keeping these, um, these two Medivacs on defense. And she is going to... Oh, wow. He is just going to drop them there. That is cheeky. That is very, very, very cheeky. Hellions! Hello! <laughs> and he's not... Oh, he, he's moved... Oh, terrible scouting. He's moving him in, in the worst possible place. If he's gone from, from below, then he would have done so much more damage. The evolution chamber now being uh, constructed as well. But these drones are actually getting fried. As, uh, oh, that was a great shot. More and more of these drones are getting uh, annihilated, and Czech is really, really feeling it. And he did this before. He, he got destroyed by Hellion uh, harassment early on in the last game. As, uh, finally, these hunters, all these Helions go down, but he could have done so much better. And the uh, cloaking field now being researched, so we have Banshees now coming out as well. Clever, clever stuff. Very, 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 very cheeky move there from uh, from Ke from uh, Maka. This Overlord is just going around, not the caring, not have a care in the world. Two more factories. Another couple of Marines are just trying to take down this Overlord, and we have more Banshees coming out. As, uh, once again. Once again, a lot of focus on towards the roaches. That's that's something I personally dislike about StarCraft 2 is this Rurg is really focused on roaches. I know I know there's brood lords and all that, but it's a late game and mid game it's it's just completely dominated by roaches unless the enemy goes air and you're really fo forced to go hydras. But still uh, roaches are really the the, the the, the workhorse of the uh, of the game. Banshee going around. Ooh, he'll need the cloak. Oh, that is a shame. That uh, that went down. That was uh, that was a little bit unexpected right there. As the roaches are now decided to move out. Now to see what uh, what is going on here. Still don't. Uh, first expansion is up. We've got a couple of Helions. Uh, a single Banshee down here. But these uh, these roaches are coming in, but not that fast just yet. Is that? Ooh, battle cruiser. I haven't seen one of those yet. As these banshees should be able to make uh, quick work of the uh, the roaches. Although the roaches do manage to get into its uh, first expansion. Oh, they're just torn, tearing these SCVs apart, including the mule. That's a waste. Is that? It's very, very difficult now. Uh, we have a couple of siege tanks now being built as well, but. Hardly going to be enough. We have uh, check just having this overlord over here, and we finally have ravens. Ravens will be nice versus those roaches with the uh, PD, uh, the point defense. And now a spire being built as well. Some utilisks being built. And banelings! Hello, banelings! Banelings being researched. Are we going to see banelings being dropped in towards there? In towards the base. This check's uh, expansion. Uh, it's, it's, uh, check is really not uh, uh, not expanding that much. We do have an overseer here, so uh, Naka does know that there is a possibility of uh, changelings on the map, but nothing so far. Siege tanks here, no siege tank uh, stuff being deployed as the PDs do manage to take down a significant amount of the uh, turrets, but not going to be enough as uh, the siege tanks all die. The banshees are still here, and they. Said Banshees really don't have enough damage output to do anything in particular. Helions have fall back as well. Finally, Siege Tech. Siege Tech being researched. Seriously, guys. Siege Tank. Siege Tech and Siege Tank are like Adam and Eve. You're, they hold each other's hand. One cannot go without the other. Even if the stupid bitch eats the apple, they still need one another. If you catch my drift. You cannot go in and build Siege Tanks without Siege Tank upgrade. It just doesn't work like that. And Kara, Ma Maka should really, really know that. He does have a scout. Oh, he has his raven out here. But there's nothing close towards the uh, ledge, so we can use the siege tanks on just to deploy them. All this creep tumor is probably going to die. There we go. There we go. And missile turtle being built. So he's expecting air. Does he know that there is air? Does he know that there is air? 
No, he hasn't seen a spire, or the Baneling's Nest for that matter. That is uh, interesting. So the muties are here, and they're gonna uh, share it. They're gonna probably take these uh, siege tanks to shreds. So see, Missile Tower does stay, try to take come in. Two more siege tanks come in, and the Helians are ready for uh, for the attack. More Mulesks coming out, and they're going for the base. The Mulesks are coming in. They are going to harass his base like crazy. Ooh, it was like 30 Zerglings being uh, queued up there. Uh, those Zerglings are going to try to do as much damage as they possibly can. There we go. There's the Roaches. Siege tanks need to deploy now. As, uh, siege tanks are coming in. These Roaches are dying. Nicely done. Oh, look at all those Zerglings trying to come in. But they're getting toasted. And there come the Mutalisk as well. I don't think the, I don't think uh, that... Uh, that I, I, Check should have no problem just waltzing over these siege tanks now with his mutalisks, seeing all the arrows down. And, uh, well, oh, there you go, three siege tanks down, and they're having to fall back towards the missile tower, but it's too late. Two more siege tanks on the field. All of the uh, roaches are down, uh, are being destroyed now as well. So siege tanks need to move forward quickly. The queens are there. They're trying to move into the base, but siege tank is going to go down. It's, it's not going to happen. Oh, oh, that is, oh, that is such a shame. Why did he do that with those siege tanks? That was just nice, stupid. Trying to move in like that. It's just, it blows my mind that he would do something like that. Infernal Prey Igniter now finally being researched on the Helions. Just to get the damage out. But still, wal waltzing in those siege tanks like that was such a waste. I know that he, they would have died towards the roaches as well, but moving in like that it was just nearly pointless. This is Overseer is dead uh, in on route to dying, and uh, check. Having a third expansion going for him, and he is going for a hatchery in a very strange spot. Why don't you just build our queen? Throw up more eggs. Apparently, that's not what he wanted to. Viking being built in both two Thors. More spine crawlers and mo mostly upgraded ventral sacks now on the uh, for the overlord. So we could be looking at drops potentially. Mutalisks are just harassing. Hmm. The expansion is now being uh, solidified. But he has no anti-air. Oh, finally, a Viking does come in. But uh, they're out of range of his missile, uh, missile turret. Oh look, it's Minsk. <laughs> yes, I have played StarCraft uh, Brood War. All those games uh, way back in the day. Two evolution chambers. Two evolution chambers. That is an invest. Ooh, investors. If he has he seen the Thors? Has he seen the Thors? I don't think he has. But those investors on those Thors could do some ridiculous damage. Not that he knows that there is Thor's now. What's that? Next is uh, moving, making his move towards the base. Ooh, that's a lot of roaches. And he'll need to tie it down. And they're scanning at the roaches now. As uh, the siege tanks are a little bit slow, the Thor's should be in the front. There is a couple of yeah. It looks like Nexus is uh, on the verge of finishing this game. Deploy tanks are being deployed. And there we go. Oh, all these roaches are going to go down. All these roaches are going to die versus the, sea, versus the uh, siege tanks. They're getting absolutely annihilated now. For the Thor's in tow as well. The queens are moving now back into what's the field. She's not going to live a very long. Second queen as well. This is it. As uh, Czech loses, is going to lose this game. There's nothing he can do about this anymore. As, uh, he is trying to get as many roaches back onto what's the field as soon as he can, but... That's not going to happen because the hatchery is going to go down. There's one more queen on the field, but uh, she is not going to live a very long. 
Does he have another siege tank still? Uh, yeah, just the one here. But that's not gonna. That's what's gonna do a lot of damage. Hatchery down. This is it. Check is lost. There's nothing you can do about it. There's uh, a couple of roaches now on the field, but unless he managed to get infestors out for, in some strange way now, here comes the backup. More siege tanks coming in. They are doing so much damage, and these spine crawlers are gonna die as well. And his hatchery's toast check is done for. Great spell play by Nix, and really solidifying the Terran versus uh, Zerg play here. As now finally the uh, drones are coming in as well, and they'll just die versus the Helians. No problem. The Thor is moving up the ramp. Good game being called by Czech. Leaves the game, and that is it. As uh, Czech versus uh, Ma Maka goes down in towards the direction of Maka. Terran wins versus Zerg in an onslaught of Thor's siege tanks and Hellions. This has been Ace Pick here on day number eight of 30 days. Well, StarCraft, once again, remember, it is up to you at home. Yes, the guy, you, sitting in your chair that is looking at the screen and just hears the sound coming from his headphones thinking, what the hell is this? Yes, you. You can improve my commentary. I want to see your feedback. I want to see your comments on the Quad V website and or YouTube. It is you. It is you that can make me better and improve your entertainment. That's what I'm here for. Make it happen. This has been Ace Spec here on Quad V for 30 days. See you soon.